more. That's right. I am standing by with uh, Jenny Marie Batistin. You are a licensed marriage and family counselor or therapist. Joining us today to talk about, uh, you know, ways that relationships people can sort of hopefully come together during this time because quarantine actually has put a strain on many relationships. Let's first talk about issues and reasons why this time might uh, be a bit difficult for some people. Yeah, you know, we're home 24 seven right now. A lot of times with our partner, this is the most amount of time we have spent sometimes with our partner in a really long time. And we're starting to realize maybe some of their habits are habits we don't particularly care for so much. Maybe there's some differences in parenting styles or maybe we realize we really don't have a lot in common. Yes, and you know, we're kind of seeing that, I guess, translate in, into Hollywood. A lot of Hollywood celebrities during this quarantine have actually broken up. Now, can we take a look at their relationship and maybe try to, uh, you know, uh, take a look and see how that would relate to us normal people? Maybe some of the same issues that we all face with that? Yeah, actually, they're very similar a lot of times. It is that challenge of being able to navigate our problems. How do we talk about problems? Uh, a lot of times people don't know how to do a proper I feel statement. A lot of times they'll start off with like, I feel like you're a jerk. Uh, not, not an I feel statement. We're now criticizing. And so a lot of times we just don't know how to navigate and resolve conflicts in a healthy way and we rather we just break down the relationship. Now when, when couples are, and people are together and they're, they're almost feeling like, okay, we might be coming to a point where uh, is this going to work? Is that when you seek uh, help or, or what's the stages of, of kind of things breaking down? Yeah, unfortunately, the statistic is really sad that usually couples go into therapy seven years too late um, and they don't have the skills or foundation that really is firm at all. It's so broken down. So really going into couples counseling at the onset of your relationship to learn how to be in a relationship can really help it last a lifetime. So learning those communication skills, it's just something we're not taught growing up. Yeah, and it can be very, very difficult. I know even with uh, celebrities right now, Kanye and Kim, they're going through their own difficult time here. But when you add on the stress of everyday life and now the quarantine and kids having to be at school, it just continues to add on. But there are ways to, to save any relationship that might be on the strain. Yes, absolutely. Therapy can be so helpful. There's a lot of great books. But even going back to the basics of just dating your partner again, get to know them who they are today because who they were when you met them originally, they're probably different because of life today. Fantastic, yes, Jen. And you'll be joining us in our nine o'clock hour to talk more about how couples can maybe rekindle that relationship. And like you mentioned, maybe start uh, finding new things uh, and ways about your partner that you might love and appreciate. So thank you so much. We'll talk more uh, with you in our next hour and also about your, your book that you have. Uh, for now, though, we'll send it back to you, T. Jenny, thank you. All right, Great. very Thanks. good. Thank you.